Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Avalanche Sting. Since it's the last day of the week and we all want to get ready for the weekend, I figured I'd just share some good information security news for once. This week, a number of federal authorities in many different countries, literally 37 different locations, uh, the authorities were able to capture and seize a ton of equipment that had to do with a long-term cyber attack campaign that they're calling Avalanche. Basically, Avalanche is the code name for a botnet that's been uh, responsible for what some say is two-thirds of the phishing email out there. Uh, this phishing email, if you got it and clicked on one of its links or its attachments, it might infect your computer and make you part of a botnet. And right now, authorities estimate that over half a million computers in 180 countries are infected with this particular bot. So it's been causing a lot of trouble. Anyways, through cooperation, international federal authorities seized 39 servers, they shut down over 800,000 malicious domains, and they arrested five people and have other suspects for this particular botnet. Anyways, it's obviously very good news, and we'll probably see a temporary decrease in the amount of phishing email everyone in the world sees. That said, that the sad part about this is despite the fact these guys are arresting some cyber criminals, botnets tend to return from other criminals as well. So don't think that it will stop all the phishing out there, but it's still great to see the authorities catch some criminals. Now that said, there are other botnets like the Mirai botnet that are still active. In fact, this week, uh, the particular Mirai botnet that uh, targeted Deutsche Telekom earlier last weekend uh, is now targeting Talk Talk in the UK as well. Nonetheless, it's always great to see the good guys catch the bad guys. That's it for today's story. Have a great weekend and thanks for watching.